Am I supposed to look at you or at the camera? You know. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome to Pillow Talk, episode one. Here with me today, I have my first guest, someone very special to my heart, and the only person I could get because of the storms, and he lives right on the other side of this wall. My brother, Sawyer. Sawyer, say what's up to the people. What's up, everybody? Excited to be here. So, the way this is going to work, I'm just going to ask Sawyer some questions. You know, none of them are too hard hitting. It's just get to know him a little better. And uh, I already know him pretty well, so this is going to be more for you guys. But since I do know him, I know the kind of questions I can ask him. He's going to give me some, Sawyer's going to give me some interesting answers, that's for sure. All right. So, none of these questions are going to be too crazy, so don't worry. Okay. I'm not going to have you saying anything to embarrass him. Okay. All right. So, we're going to start. Start. With the with a, with a easy one, the, the one that everyone always asks, if you could go to lunch with one person ever, who would it be? Any person, dead or alive, who would it be? If I could go to lunch with one person. You could go ever. to lunch with them, and you get like an hour, hour and a half with them. You can converse with them and pick their brain. Who would it be? Do I have to pay for lunch? Uh, No, we'll say lunch is paid for. Okay, I don't know why that matters, but... <laughs> um. Can I say where, where would you go to lunch? Where would you go to lunch? It depends who it is. It depends who no, it is. I'd go to Penang. That's my favorite place to eat. <laughs> go to Penang? Okay. Can I take? Can I say Jesus? Yeah, you can say I Jesus. Would, I would choose Jesus. If Jesus is off limits, then I'll probably choose Shaq. Okay, so Jesus and then Shaq. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay. So you would take either one of them to Penang? Both, yeah. Both? Yeah. Or what about you, Jesus, and Shaq? We'd go to Penang. All three of you together? Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be, that'd pretty, be a good that'd table. That'd be pretty fun. Good, interesting conversation. Yeah. Who knows what would happen? All right, so next, this one's a little tougher. If you could only listen to one album for the rest of your life, what album would it be? Saturation 3 by Brockhampton. Satu he had it right there. Saturation 3 by Brockhampton. Honestly, that might be my answer, too. Loki. My favorite song is on, my two My two favorite songs are on both off that album. You want to tell us what they are? Hottie and Boogie by Brockhampton. Hottie and Boogie by, Boogie by Brockhampton. Boogie goes crazy. That's yes. what I listen to if I'm, like, trying to hide myself up. We're going to play this song, song at the wedding. So... That's funny that you said that. I want you to. Uh, that was a, fall, a later question. It's about Brockhampton. Oh, really? Don't read the questions. Oh, I'm bro. not read. I can't read from afar, so, bro. So I want you to rank the following members of Brockhampton. Rank? Yeah, I'm gonna give you all the, of them. No, I'm gonna give you the six that we. So Sawyer and I went and saw them in concert. These were the six that were like on the stage, you know, doing okay. their thing. The six main members. The six main members. So Kevin Abstract, Joba, Bareface. Matt Champion, Don McLennan, and Marlon Wood. So I was supposed to rank them of how Rank like them, them of how much you like them, how good you think you they are. You want me to start at one or six? It's up to you, bro. It's I'm going to start at one because I'm going to lose track. Okay, so number one is Dom. Dom is one, okay. Number two. Interesting. Yeah, bro, he's the, he's the best rapper. He's got the best flows. Number two is Matt. Okay. He's he's also, I like I just like the flow. I like the way his voice sounds. Number three, I have to go with Kevin, the most versatile member of Brockhampton, mm -hmm. in my I mean, opinion. He's talented. Then Joba. Because he's also extremely versatile. He can sing. He can rap. They say he plays instruments, too. Then Merlin. Okay. Just because he... Oh, shoot. This is hard. I want to move... But he... No, I got to keep him in that order because I like all of them. Merlin's next. He's crazy. And then Bareface. I'm not a... He's good, but I'm just not a big fan. I mean, big of a I feel fan. like he doesn't really do that much. Yeah. He sings when they need, like, a voice. No, I like him. I like no, them all. Good. They're all, all together, good. but, like... Yeah. And then let's order. say we're throwing a mirror in there. Where would you have to put a mirror? If we're throwing it back. He'd probably be, he'd probably take the sixth spot and then Bareface would be seven. Really? Okay. So personally for me, I'm just going to throw this out there. Merlin Merlin's is my favorite. favorite. Yeah. I love Merlin. That man goes, that man goes crazy. He's always just like He's screaming, always screaming, hollering. It's awesome. All right. So my next question. Okay. What's your spirit animal? Will Ferrell. <laughs> your spirit animal is Will Ferrell. Those are my pants, first of all. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Do I have to, can I say that? Or do I yeah, I mean, if, if, that's you, like, if you feel like your spirit animal is Will Ferrell, It's like that's a fine. combination of all Will Ferrell's characters, characters that he's ever played mushed into one that's in that's me, in okay. my heart. That's my true So not Will Ferrell animal. specifically, but like his characters? Well, plus him. well, I don't know Will Ferrell. That's fair. Yeah, like, I'm saying, like, we take Buddy the Elf, we take... Ron Burgundy, we take the guy from Step Brothers. Uh, we is take he Dale or we, Brendan. I think he's Brendan. Yeah, he's Brendan. And we take like Ricky guy, Bobby. Yeah, we take Ricky Bobby. We take the guy that plays the cowbell on SNL. Okay. Like all the other char things that he's been in that I can't remember and mix them together. That's my spirit animal. Interesting. Okay. Balls fair, of Fury. Fair enough. Was he in Dodgeball? He wasn't in Dodgeball. You mean 
Balls of Fury? That's not a movie. Balls of Fury, the ping pong balls. That's not a movie. Yeah, Balls of Fury? I've never Where they play that. ping pong? Is it, look it up right there's now. There's Blades of Glory. That one too. And then there's also uh, Semi-Pro. Semi-Pro? I, ha I haven't Moon. seen Semi-Pro, but I know which one it is. Balls of Fury? I'm going to Google Balls of Fury real quick because I personally have never heard of that before Bro, it's in my a life. Ping it's a ping pong movie. If you've seen Balls of Fury, like and subscribe. <laughs> Balls of Fury. Told you. Is he in it? I don't think he's in this, bro. I Bro, I'm not seeing Will He's Ferrell on the cast list. What? George Lopez? Nah, bro, Will Ferrell is not in this. That's embarrassing. Okay, bro. Blades of Glory was what I meant then. I do not. I've never even seen Balls of Fury, dude. I've <laughs> met Blades of Glory. Is that the one where he, like, kills somebody? Blades of Glory? Where he's ice skating. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he, like, chops somebody or something. <laughs> but it's him and the, the Napoleon Dynamite guy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Napoleon, Napoleon, Napoleon. The guy that plays Napoleon. Yeah, Napoleon Dynamite. Okay, my next question. You, Sawyer, in the past like year or so, has gotten really into coffee. Huh. He uh, before I, I never knew him to drink coffee. He never. I don't think he ever drank coffee, and then he just started drinking it and got super into it. So, what is your favorite coffee shop? Oh, that's good. That's a good question, because things that you have to factor into this is the coffee mm -hmm. of course the snacks too because i like the snacks the ambiance the aesthetic and then ambiance. like the people there you know right which right. kind of plays into that but i think all around i have to i like stella nova stella nova yeah for I multiple like reasons it's close to where i work at the church the people that are working there are always very nice the people that are in there are always very nice i like their coffee it's not my number one most favorite coffee but i like it a lot but they're do they're blueberry scones. Mm -hmm. I don't even really know what a scones is, but they're blueberry scones. <laughs> what a scones Smash. is. What a scone Get is. that bad boy heated up. Oh, my, It's like a Krispy Kreme donuts in a different shape with blueberries in it. <laughs> my following question is what's your go-to order? So I'm gonna assume a blueberry scone is in there. At Stella Nova? Yeah, I was just... I get, yeah, I, get, I, get, yeah. I get a medium size dark roast coffee. So just like nothing plain in it, coffee. Plain coffee, dark okay. roast, nothing in it. And then a blueberry scones heated up. This man goes from not drinking coffee to just drinking straight, just black coffee. For me, I like pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice lattes, or pink drinks from Starbucks, or black coffee. There's like no in between. Okay. One extreme to the other. That's what I like. Me, I'm not a coffee guy. Pumpkin spice latte Personally. from Stella Nova is good too. Okay, my next question. What is your favorite form of social media? Instagram. Instagram? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate on that? But why Instagram? I, I thought it was going to be Instagram. I feel like Instagram, like, I feel like most people my age are on Instagram, so that's the easiest way to c c talk to them. I like the, I just like the way Instagram looks. And I like how you can post anything on Instagram that almost any, pretty much anything you can do on any other social media, you can do on Instagram. Okay. You can message people, have conversations, you can have a group message, you can have stories, you can post pictures. I mean, with captions, and you can post like words as pictures, things like that. You can go live stream. You know, upload long videos, short videos. I just like Instagram the best. Twitter is booty cakes. I only get on Twitter when you send me tweets. But there, I mean, there, there's funny stuff on Twitter, but there's also mostly like annoying and like angry people on Twitter. And then Facebook's cool, but I usually only do Facebook for like work stuff or keep up with like old people. Old so people. you're a big advocate of keep Instagram casual. Uh huh. I can you can you tell the people why you want Instagram to be casual? I haven't used the hashtag in a long time. I know you I like used it. to use it a lot. I still do though, so ha I still keep it casual. Hashtag keep Instagram casual. No, it's hashtag make Instagram casual again. Because oh if you're if you're as old as me, you know us early Gen Zers. I'm on the earlier end of Gen Z. Instagram came out when I was in middle school, so it started getting big when I was like in eighth grade, and we would literally just post anything. Like we would post like selfies. We'd post like pictures of like a book we post i remember posting a picture of like some antibiotics that i was about to take in my hand i posted a picture of a watermelon we would post i remember when i got 25 followers on instagram i posted like this like typed out thing it said i have 25 followers i love you and i like, posted it <laughs> on my on my uh Are these posts archived now no i think it was an old my old account oh, yeah, that i got locked out of oh. um but uh anyways so you used to post i forgot what i was talking about you used to post random stuff on instagram like you weren't caring about it but now people do like photo shoots and stuff like that yeah for instagram and they're like everything's like posed and like filled not filtered anymore but like edited and things like that and it's like 
like people say, the grass is always greener on Instagram. You only post the best parts of your life on Instagram. But I just want I want to see like people looking ugly and stuff like that. For for me, it's hard to post on Instagram if I don't have a good caption. I yeah, gotta, I gotta have a good. That's caption. another. That's that's the thing too. Is like I don't care what the picture it's, is. I have to have a good caption. Like when I used to post on Instagram more, I don't post all that often. I'm on Instagram a lot, but I don't post all that often. When I did used you to post, post a lot on your story. Yeah. yeah, when I did used to post a lot of posts, like I would think really long and hard about the caption because like you want it to be a caption that if people read it, they'll they'll think it's funny or like it'll make them want to comment on it. And like, because usually if, a, if you have a good caption, that's how you're going to get a lot of likes, a lot of interaction on your posts. That's another part about keep Instagram casual is you could post something like I could post something that in reality could get like five, 600 likes, mm -hmm. but I don't care if it gets like 50, 100. That's part of the Instagram casual mindset. Okay. You want to shout out your Instagram? Saw money. I saw you at, changed it back. You just changed it back to saw money. You had it as saw your Wilson. Saw your A Wilson. I was trying to be more professional. Yeah, adult, I, I hated it. Just he wasn't. changed it, and it was just it wasn't not. me. But it's, it's saw money. S A W M O N E Y. And saw has a new series that he's doing on Fridays. Yeah. Happy Friday. It's called Happy Friday. I, it's it's good. I would definitely watch that first episode, and he's gonna keep me coming. He's live at nine a.m. 9 a.m. every Friday. 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, baby. And that's my day off, so that's a little too early for me. So uh, I I'll, I'll post it on IGTV so, later. There we go. Yeah. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, my next question. This one's going to be digging a little deeper. Okay. Who has had the biggest impact on your life, but that person like doesn't even realize it? It could be maybe like a celebrity you don't know or just like somebody that just like... Do they have to be? It can no, be somebody it, that it I know be, personally. It could be somebody you know personally. Or somebody you don't just you have they have like a huge impact in your life and you didn't even know you know like they don't they have they, they, like they, they don't like told them it. they don't realize it like how big of an influence they are on you um i think the first person that comes to my mind is jc chapel oh, that's from, the man from north church i get to work with him now but when i was like middle school he was Jay my Sizzle. small group leader in the youth group and like i hated even when i hated going to church and like i felt like i didn't have any friends mm -hmm. there jc was always super kind to me mm -hmm always reached out to me and then when i stopped com even when i stopped coming to the youth groups like i was never around him every time i was there on like sundays with like my family and stuff he would always say hi to me and always remembered me and uh kind of, kind of showed me like the consistency of like being a good leader and like how like the importance of like planting seeds um in in the people that you're leading even if you don't see um the harvest so i think he's had a he's he's one of the first people that comes to mind for sure you know what's crazy? I would probably have the same exact answer. Really? Because I was about to tell the I'm about to tell the same story. So I uh, about, our, about the same guy. It used to be yeah about JC. <laughs> it used to, it, uh, our North students. It used to be called Revolution, and I, I we didn't go very consistently, but I only went like sixth, seventh, maybe a little bit of eighth grade. I didn't go at all when I was in high school. Me. Um, what? and it's funny because we're both like pretty involved. Well, he's. That's this man's job, and I'm pretty involved in it now, too. But I remember I went a few times, and JC was my small group leader. And ever since then, every time I would be at church, like, I, like, I remembered him, but I didn't think he would remember me because, you know, he has a lot of people coming through. But that just shows you how genuine he is. Yeah. Because I went, I was in his small group maybe four or five times and for the next, like, ten years. Ten almost. years. <laughs> yeah every time i would see him at church he'd be like hey what's up how are you and like have like a real conversation with me remember, he would remember things that i told him like yeah a long time ago I remember my interests that man that man jc is if you, know, if you know jc you are blessed yeah shout that out to is, jc juicy man, chocolate yeah that's the man jay sizzle okay staying a little deeper this is this is probably the deepest question so sawyer is engaged to uh, a lovely lady named olivia tartabono so i'm gonna ask you you guys only dated for four months before you got engaged. Yeah. What? So at first, you know, personally, when he told me, I was a little skeptical. But after seeing them together, it just makes sense. What do you say to the people that may be like a little skeptical? Like, is that enough time? What do you say to them? I say shut up. You say shut up. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Probably to a fault. But um, I guess I mean I don't want to be like cheesy or like. Uh, what's the, what's the word if you're like the same as everybody? Cliche. Cliche. I don't want to be like cliche, but I guess like when you know, you know, bro. Like, yeah, we were only dating for four months. We had only known each other for less than a year. Probably about 10 months we had known each other. Probably about like six, seven months we had even like really been friends at all. Um, 
but I just say like when you know you know and it's like um am I supposed to like explain like myself or, or no, like just just what's your, give what's people your advice I mean it's up to you oh yeah my an my answer is like my first answer is I don't care what, <laughs> what anybody <laughs> says my second answer is like we you just knew yeah we just we I feel like we we knew we were gonna get married like at least I knew and she, and she says that she knew too like probably about a month into dating like we said we told each other we loved each other like um, about a month after dating which is crazy in and of itself and then getting engaged for like four months into dating so i would just say like we knew and we're so far so good i mean we're not married <laughs> yet but <laughs> it's looking it's was, looking really good so say, far when someone when a couple people asked me they were like haven't they only been dating for four months like is that long enough i'm like well how long is long enough yeah exactly like do they have to date it's, for 10 years yeah i mean or one year like how, like everyone every relationship is different yeah and the thing is like she would probably say the same thing like we definitely i mean she she would probably say the same thing but i definitely she knows me better than it, she might just anybody next guess. and i'm yeah i know her better than i think i know her better than most almost anybody knows her at least on a, like a deeper she knows level you better than i know you you can uh, say yes it's okay if she, she knows does, me in a different she knows me like in a different way than you so okay. like she, she i have probably, a little bit of an advantage yeah you've not known me you for 20 years my entire much. life but yeah she and like we just we just yeah, we just, it feels like we've known each other for way longer than we have, yeah, yeah. but okay. yeah. yeah, it feels like, it feels like I've known her longer too. Uh -huh. and she's just like, she just like fits into our family so yeah. well. Yeah. Okay. So anybody who's skeptical of us, I say, shut up and you're not invited to the yeah, wedding. Shut up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> let me, all right. I have, I'm having a fear right now that I didn't hit record. So let me check that real quick. Are you serious? Okay. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making sure. Cause that was, so oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. All right, so this one, we're gonna get, go back to a little lighter. Okay. This is gonna go, okay, so we talked about how much Sire and I love Brockhampton. Brockhampton is the best boy band in the world right now, in my opinion. But who do you think is the best boy band ever? In sync. In sync? Yeah. So and personally, I would rank them. Personally, I'm a Backstreet Boys guy. <laughs> um, but I don't think either of them are the best boy band ever. NSYNC's not even top three. I don't think. I know who exactly you're going to say. Backstreet Boys? One yeah, Direction is the greatest boy band three. of all time. Okay, I knew you were going to say that. I say uh, One Direction's two. Jonas Brothers are number three. Backstreet's number four. Okay. And then, but you, but do you include the Beatles? Uh, I don't I won't count They're the a Beatles. band and they're boys. Uh, but I'm going to say no. Cause, you, okay, because I know some people will be like the Beatles. And then even before that, I think it was like the Monkees. And stuff like that, but like every band that monkeys. Has, well, that's what they're called. They're like what's I'm the monkeys? Be, they sing that song where it's like I'm a believer. Oh, from Shrek. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Shrek sound Shrek 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 sound Shrek. <laughs> Shrek soundtrack smacks. Bro. Yeah, it's so good. And Shrek. Hey, say that Shrek, three times fast. Shrek soundtrack smacks. Shrek soundtrack smacks. Shrek soundtrack smacks. <laughs> I can't even say it once. <laughs> um. But, like, I don't think every band that has boys in it is a boy band. Like, it's just different. Then, is boy band, like, a style of music? No. Not because even. Because Brockhampton's, like, completely different from the rest of them. But you know who the most slept on boy band of all time is? Big, Big Time, time Rush. Rush. Yes. <laughs> I love Big I, Time Rush. I knew Rush. you were going to say either Big Time Rush or Naked Brothers Band. <laughs> Naked Brothers Band. No, there was a girl in Naked Brothers Band. There was? And originally, it was just the two brothers. The guy with the dreads? When they <laughs> no. When they made the show, there was, like, a girl that, like, played the guitar or something. So that's not a boy band. Crazy no. car. You know what the greatest boy band of all time is? Fire, Fire Boys. Boys. That was Sawyer and I and our cousin Dayton's boy band. Yeah, our, I was our, the drummer. All I did was hit chops. I was together. the guitar player, but I didn't actually know how to play the guitar, so I just held a guitar and then I would just dance. I was the dancer. And by dancing, he would just roll around on the floor and <laughs> shake his butt. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. But here it goes. It goes In Sync, One Direction, Jonas Brothers, Backstreet. Boys, and then for the fifth one, I mean, I guess I would probably say the Beatles. My favorite is, of course, Brockhampton. But okay, yeah. interesting. I don't interesting. want to. I don't want to be too biased and put them in the top five. You know? uh, yeah, I don't think they're top five, but they're my favorite for sure. Yeah. Okay. My socks are dirty. Next, for those of y'all that didn't know, Sawyer's a big sneakerhead. Super into sneakers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Give me your top three sneakers that I have. Yeah, it can be just your favorite three, your top three, however you want to do it. It's up to you. Well, I have. I have 
my number one favorite shoe is the Jordan 11 Concords. Okay. I have that one. one's there. My boy Dawson. Beautiful. My boy Dawson hooked me up a couple years Dawson ago. Dawson Hughes? Yeah, Dawson Hughes. D Hughes helped me get it from, from Champs. So that's my number one favorite shoe ever. I have that one. Then my number two is probably the Kobe 6 Grinch, which I don't have, nor will I probably ever have it because... Which you have? Which Grinches do you have? I have the Mamba Rage Grinch. So it's okay. like a Kobe Grinch, but it's pretty... It, to me, it's honestly just like... It's a real shoe, but it's like a, a knockoff version of the, the Kobe 6 Grinch. You know which one I'm talking about? The, like the lime green one? Yeah, yeah. I'll probably never have them either. They were already super expensive. And then since he passed away, RIP, they're even more expensive. So that's my second favorite shoe. And then my third favorite shoe, I'm, 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 uh, what's the word? Like keepsakes. Uh, cinnamon sentimental i don't know how i knew that that's what he was going for sentimental i'm sentimentally sentimentally attached to the jordan 5 fire reds because mm -hmm. that was the first pair of shoes i bought for myself i was in ninth grade so like 2012 and i saved up i remember i printed out i wanted them i printed out a picture of them because i knew they were coming out in january so i printed out a picture and i saved up I money and like kept putting the money in the jar with the picture of them on there and then i bought them for myself on on champs online like got lucky hit on the champs online and got them and i still have them and they still fit that's they awesome. still look new the bottoms are still icy so that's that's my third favorite so jordan 11 concords kobe 6 grinch and then uh jordan 5 fire red so all of my sneaker knowledge is the little bit that i pick up from what sawyer's saying if you know me i'm not into sneakers i'm gonna do a very different kind of shoe um I'm, no i'm not i'm gonna blur that out i'm not gonna mention them until they sponsor me just kidding what i'm not gonna get sponsored by them that would be cool. That would be cool. But shout out Crocs. I got my 15 pairs right there. I like the uh, Justin Bieber Crocs. I got my Justin Bieber Crocs. I right want there. the Justin Bieber Those Crocs. Cool. Sawyer has one pair of Crocs. They're camo. They're camo. Just for around the house. So you kind of already answered this, but so it, the next question was, what pair of shoes do you want the most that you don't have? The Kobe so Seeds. Kobe Seeds. For sure. sure. What's another one? Uh, that I don't have. That, that I you don't really have. want. Ooh, I love the Travis scott the cactus jack jordan one mm -hmm. highs yeah, yeah you know which ones are like yeah. the white with brown and the yeah, backwards like the Nike sign yeah i love those because i love jordan ones so probably those would be another one I, I like all of travis scott's collabs with nike um with jordan um i like all those um his collab with mcdonald's was good too that that travis scott <laughs> burger was good i never had it, it was good. so that'd probably be the set my second pair that i would want okay Another one that's like kind of random that probably would really wouldn't be that hard to get, but I just forget about all the time. I want the Jordan Six Lakers. It's like black with like it bare, very barely has like pink, not pur pink, purple and yellow highlights, which is like my favorite color combo. But they're like mostly black with like the stitching is like purple and yellow, and like the logo is like purple and yellow. It's they're sick, but I don't think they're like rare. But like there's not a whole like it seems like not a lot of people have them, but I feel like they're not that expensive. I could probably get a pair. Okay, so this wasn't even on here, but I got this because you mentioned Dawson Hughes, who the one thing I think of when I think of Dawson, that man is a diehard Eagles fan. He, I've never seen anyone rock with the team as much as the Eagles, uh, as much as him with the Eagles, except for Sawyer with the Cowboys. I was about to say. Except for Sawyer with the Cowboys. I was about to say. This man is the most loyal Cowboys fan. I know. I'm not really into the NFL that much. When people ask, I say the Cowboys on my team. I'm more of the kind of guy that likes players. Like, I like the Browns because Baker Mayfield's my boy. But I'm definitely, like, always, like, one, rooting for the Cowboys to win. But Olivia, just know that this is the most loyal man of all time. The Cowboys <laughs> have never been good while he's alive. Never. You want to explain, like, why you're a Cowboys fan? I'm a Cowboys fan because our mom's a Cowboys fan. And I think she's a Cowboys fan because our grandpa, our papa was a Cowboys fan. I think, I mean, I think technically the Chiefs are closer mm -hmm. by a few miles. But Dallas feels like it's closer. Yeah. Um, so, and I mean, we get every single Cowboys game on TV. That's the only NFL team we get every single game here. Um, so I've just, I've always been a Cowboys fan my whole life. They've won, I think, like two playoff games in my life. Um, so it's next no year, our year, or? Okay, I know I say this every year, but like does, every Dak year. Prescott this past year was on a whole different level. Like he was playing MVP level he before play he really broke good. his ankle. And then like if Zeke, if Zeke gets, comes back a little stronger, 
um, a little better Zeke shape. Didn't have a good season Amari this Cooper year. is top five receivers in the NFL. Don't at me, or you can't at me, and I'll argue with you all day long. I, I agree, he's top five. We, our O line is always good. Our defense is improving, especially if we can. Vander Ash. Especially if we can get this good. man JJ Watt. Especially <sighs> if we can draft somebody. We have like we have the tenth draft pick, ninth or tenth draft pick this year. If we can get somebody good. Good receiver core. Amari Cooper and CD, CD, CD and Lamb Michael Gallup. That guy. Yeah, I love CD. Lamb. All right, cool. So that wasn't on here, but I'm glad I could ask. Yeah. That. Um, that's interesting. Interesting stuff. So next, what's the funniest joke you can think of right now? <laughs> oh, let me think for a second. How long do I have? However long you want. It'll just. I'm not gonna edit it, so it'll just be us sitting here. So they'll know that you're not actually. Dude, that this is a lot of pressure. Just don't do the one about the grape. Oh, I love that one. That one's not funny. I the joke that I think made me laugh more than any joke I ever heard is one that you told me. Okay. Do you want me to tell it? Yeah. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his son off at school? Bye, son. <laughs> Bye, son. That made me laugh more than any joke. That's a but good I'm, one. Can I tell the grape one? Yeah, go ahead. Well, did that give away the answer? Hey, what do you call a fish with no tails and no fin? What? A one-eyed grape. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> so next... Uh, Sawyer and I, we have, I mean, most of our interests are the same because we're brothers. We're brothers. We just grow. like brothers. Just like brothers. Who said that? Johnny, Johnny Boyce. Boyce. Shout out that man. He probably, if he sees this, which I doubt he will, he probably has no idea what we're talking about. He commented that on one of my Instagram posts a long time ago. It was, a, it was a picture of us and he just and commented, he commented just, just like brothers. brothers. And we say it all the time. Yeah. So <laughs> shout out you, JB. That's JB. The man. JB3. Your, your waves have always been trash. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> So we have a lot of the same interests, as I was saying, because we are brothers, we grew up together. One of those is Game of Thrones. It's my favorite TV show. I think it's probably That's my two. favorite. No, it's my Friends. favorite. No, it's my favorite. You like it better than Friends? Yeah. Sorry, big Friends fan. Yeah. Oh my. But Game of Thrones, who do you think is the main character of Game of Thrones? If y'all have never watched Game of Thrones, because I know it's a little uh, graphic, so I don't I know. I feel like I would change this answer all the but time. I know it's a little graphic, so you may not have watched it, but it's like a bunch of different stories and stuff going on. Like, all, like, if you're tons not, of characters. If you're watching this and you're not 18, do not don't watch, watch Game of Thrones. It. If you, don't if you are under 18, ask your parents. You know, I'm not your parent, but definitely don't go watch it on your own. When yeah. I watch Game of Thrones, like, I feel. I didn't watch it till I, I was feel 18. a little dirty. Yeah, it's. It, I. <laughs> the, the certain parts of the show make me a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie. I usually fast forward through those. If I'm being completely Fast honest. Fast through all the boobies. Yep. Fast forward <laughs> to the boobies. Because <laughs> it's, it's just a good show. Like, it's a good story. And they just added all that Lots stuff. Lots of action. Like, yeah, there's... It's, oh, the fight, the fight, the fight scenes are crazy. But anyways, uh, I think the main character... There's all kinds of characters. You ready? So, yes. I think the main character of Game of Thrones is the Onion Knight, Sir Davos Seaworth. You do not think he is the No, I'm just character. kidding. Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister? Yeah. So, I know... I. If we ask our parents, they'll say Daenerys Targaryen. What? For me. Are you serious? It's this man right here. Oh, somebody else just fell. Jon Snow. Snow. He is the main character of the show. Jon Snow is the main character. Because while everybody else is doing their thing, you know, there's all these other characters. This man is up on a wall. For so why would he season. be the main character? If he's, he's listen, no, 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 literally listen. just wasting because away in a frozen wasteland. Because it's still following him while he's up. Or I on feel like we're at the wall right now. It's so cold outside. He's uh, he's up on the wall by himself. No, he's like, not by himself. Three, Sam's six, there. I know, but Sam is there. Sam Ed's is there. Sam is only a main, there. Sam is only a main character. Sir Alice is there because he's John's friend. Mr. Amon's there. All right, bro. Lord Commander Mormont is there. <laughs> all right. I think all, it's the, all, all he's there. <laughs> it's obvious. It's definitely either Tyrion, Jon Snow, or Daenerys. Don't think it's Daenerys. I don't think it. But it's definitely one of those two. But I think it's Jon Snow. I respect the answer of Tyrion. Tyrion is probably the best character. My favorite character is Jon Snow. My favorite character is Jon Snow. My favorite, like, supporting character is Podrick. Podrick Squire. Payne. That man is... Sir Podrick Sir Podrick Payne. Payne. There's a, honestly, all the characters in that show are good. Tormund's a good a, character. Oh, ter- Tormund. Bronn. Tormund. Bronn's a good character. Bron- Sir Bronn of the Blackwater. Yeah, that's a good show. Y'all should not watch Game of Thrones if you're a child. Yeah. Or under 18. Um, you know what, JC... Speaking of JC... We were talking about JC earlier. He... He would, he didn't watch it, but he read the synopsis of every That's, episode, yeah. and then he would watch the fight scenes on YouTube. The fight scenes in that show are, are next level. The battle, yeah. of, <laughs> the battle of the Bastards. Yeah, that's the best that episode. That is crazy. Best episode, hands down. That fight is so good. Why do you say hands down? 
Not you, but everybody. I don't know. Why? Can you Because I, I don't know. That's a good question. Okay. Um, this this will kind of bounce off that. Another one of the things that Sarah and I have both watched. WWE. Um, no. Okay. But that's actually, we'll get to that. We'll okay. get to that. It's a clip looking. Are you looking? No. Um, another can't one. read it from that far away. Is The Office. I like The Office more than Sarah does. Yeah, but I know what you're going to ask This is me. the hottest take I have ever heard in my life. Sawyer says that Aaron is the best character she, she from is. The Office. She is. He thinks Aaron is she the is. best character from The Office. Do you want me to explain myself? Yes, that's what I... Please, like, defend yourself. Explain it. Please, just... Okay, first off, we'll get this out of the way. She's beautiful. I have a I have a big crush on Aaron from The Office. Ellie Kemper, that's her name. Okay, well, anyway, she's... I have a big crush on... You don't have a crush on her, though. You have a crush on Aaron. Yes, I have a... Okay. Because the character. She's sweet. She's, she's a good funny. Character. She's very naive. She is hilarious. She's so much... Okay, if you like Pam, you... Suck. Nah, Pam is Pam, the worst character. Pam's the worst character. When Aaron takes her place as the secretary or whatever, mm -hmm. the receptionist, whatever she is, dude, she's so funny. She's crazy. I haven't watched The Office in probably like three years, but Aaron her, is... Her Aaron's is, with Michael. I'm Aaron really is good. the best character on The Office. My favorite, like, little clip from The Office is when Michael's like, scissors! And Aaron throws the scissors <laughs> to him and catches him like this. <laughs> but Aaron's the best. So... Which is she your favorite character then too? Oh yeah. So my favorite character is Jim. But the best character is easily Creed. Dwight. No, oh. it's Dwight. Creed. Oh, okay, no, it's Creed. It's Creed. <laughs> Creed is the best character. <laughs> it's definitely not Toby. That guy sucks. <laughs> okay. So go ahead and he already mentioned it, so I'll go. Wait, on. what's what's Dwight's cousin's name? Moe's. <laughs> go. So go ahead and he mentioned it, so we'll get into it. WWE. Um so so we watched it a little bit when we were younger. But it's kind of funny. We got into it when we were like, when, we were like when he was like, I think like your I was senior 17. Year. Yeah, I was 17. Like that's when we got like really into it. And you know, like we went to like, we've been to Monday Night we Raw what, three times. We've been to Monday Night Raw three times. We went, we went to St. Louis to go Money to in Money bank. in the Bank. That was awesome. Uh, we've been to Oklahoma. We've been to Oklahoma, which is like a different wrestling thing. But there's a lot of old like WWE guys there. Yeah. So I know this. <laughs> your I'm favorite. I'm a partial owner of WWE now. You're. <laughs> He's been getting into stocks recently. Uh, so I own $1 worth of WWE. So he's a very, very, very partial owner. <laughs> um, so you and Vince McMahon are co-workers now, I guess. Yeah. So who is your favorite WWE wrestler all time? All time? Mm -hmm. Do you want to guess? Is it Dolph Ziggler still? No, he's it, not. He it was used never to be all time. He was never is it Rey Mysterio? Rey yeah. Dolph Ziggler was my favorite, but Rey Mysterio was my all time Rey favorite. Rey Mysterio was his favorite when we were little. My favorite when we were little is this man right here, Hornswoggle. Sawyer got me this uh, for my birthday a couple few years ago, <laughs> but he was my favorite. Little, my favorite all time is the greatest wrestler to ever step foot in WWE, John Cena. John Cena, the goat. Do you, I was, that was my. Do you want to know my top three? John favorite? Cena's the goat. Oh yes, John okay. Cena's one hundred percent the goat. Okay. My top three favorite all time. Give it to me. Rey Mysterio, Kofi Kingston, okay. and then the third. I'd probably have to go with John Cena. Too. Mine is John Cena, Roman Reigns. Kofi Kingston. I, I really like Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins. I haven't cool. watched. I haven't watched it in a couple Seth like Rollins a year. Yeah, we have. We kind of fell out of it. Um, so I don't know what's so going on. I don't know like who's right bad, who's good, who's bad. Yeah. But Dolph Ziggler was. I really liked him. Yeah, he was cool. Um, can you give me like your like like Mount Rushmore of WWE like your top four ever? Four. You yeah. mean four on Mount Rushmore? Yeah. Okay. Well, John. Can Cena. you name the four presidents on Mount Rushmore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jefferson, we went to Mount Rushmore. Jefferson, so Washington, yeah. Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Teddy Roosevelt, he's my favorite president, but he's kind of random to be on there. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, those three, like, make sense. Yeah. You know, first president, I mean, wrote the else? Declaration of Independence, and then Lincoln, Emancipation yeah. Proclamation, but Teddy Roosevelt? Yeah. I think it's just because they wanted to change it up, and he has glasses. Yeah. He's my favorite president. He has a mustache. Though. He's a cool. Fun fact. Guy. Except, the one thing I don't like about Teddy Roosevelt, he banned Christmas trees in the White House. What? his presidency. Why? I don't know. I don't know if he was allergic to them or what. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah. Mount Rushmore of okay, WWE. Sorry, yeah. John Tangent. Cena. Okay. Shawn Michaels. Okay. We're only doing dudes. That's up to you, bro. Well, if we were doing, I'm not gonna put her on there. But Charlotte Flair is the best girl she's, of all time for sure. She's best amazing. female, I should say, best female wrestler of all time. She's okay, so John good. Cena, Shawn Michaels. Bro, I don't know. I could give you mine while you're thinking. John Cena, Undertaker. Oh, duh. Ric Flair and Hulk Hogan. Oh, duh. Those so I would say John Cena, Shawn Michaels, um, uh, Undertaker, and I'd go Ric Flair. Over Hulk Hogan? Yeah. 
And then my number five, you didn't even say him, is The Rock. Because I was thinking about The he Rock. He was super good in WWE, but that man is literally like the most famous person on the planet. Yeah. Like, he's just next level. Is he more famous than the Queen? I don't know. No. Is the Queen that famous? I mean, yeah. I think so. She's the Queen. I mean, I feel like usually the most famous person in the world is the president of the United States, just because, like... Or, yeah, Donald Trump is probably still the most famous person yeah. in the world. I got a cramp in my foot. <laughs> okay, my next question. Another thing, Sawyer and I are into sports. He is more into football, I'm more into basketball, but we're both into both. We have the same opinion on this. I already LeBron know. is better than LeBron, MJ. LeBron, GOAT. LeBron is better than MJ. I want you... To defend that you don't have to defend it to me because i agree with you but look in that camera yeah there's one specific person i'm thinking of that loves to argue with me about this julian julian alford and zach they both and do zach, it zach yeah. zach's not quite as bad as julian julian is just a clown <laughs> Bro, okay well first off i'm gonna say this so pretend like you're talking to julian but you can use bigger words can i do like a side so note? he'll get confused <laughs> <laughs> can i do like a side note yeah a side note I don't know if I should, I'll say it. Some people are gonna get mad since he passed away. If 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 you think that Kobe is better than LeBron, your basketball opinion is automatically in the trash. Yeah, can. Like okay, Kobe is like crazy, like one of a kind, but he's not better than either of them. Yeah, seriously. Okay, so here's why I think LeBron is better than Michael Jordan. I want you to look directly this, in the camera. This is the this. only reason why I think. Okay, when you say who is the best basketball player. You're saying who is better? Who is better at basketball? Who has the yes, most, like basketball. Yes, skill. Michael Jar Jordan has more rings so far. He'll probably finish with more rings than LeBron. LeBron's getting up there in the years. He might he might catch him, but who knows? Michael Jordan has more rings. I don't really know that much about basketball stats, honestly, so I can't back this up with any stats or anything. But when you watch LeBron and you watch Michael Jordan, I will say the last dance gave me a lot more respect for Michael Jordan in this argument. Because I I didn't watch my yeah we live, we are not old enough. I've to seen watch the highlights. Them. I know I've seen all the stats. I know all that. But when you just look at both of them play, you watch their highlights. You watch them play. If you don't agree that LeBron is just better at basketball, you're you're dumb. You're dumb. He's so much bigger. He's so much stronger. He's so he's much all better. around. He's just yeah. Better. He's all playmaker, around. passer, playmaker, rebound. ball handler, scorer, defender. I mean, maybe not better defender, but like just all around better at basketball if they played one-on-one -on -one, who would win lebron james is the only correct answer so my LeBron thing james is, is probably the best app the most athletic person ever yeah i agree with that um i'm a big lebron he's fan. a freak but um so he's argument, also like almost how old is he like 40 he's like 36 now, and he's still probably he's top he's three probably, he's top he's like number one in like mvp race right now which is i haven't watched any stupid. nba this year honestly um but so I know some people say like LeBron is better, but MJ is the goat. Uh -huh. And I get that's that fair. That's no, I mean, to me, LeBron is still the goat because like Tom Brady's the goat, but he's not like the most skilled quarterback of all time. Like people will say like Tom no, Brady's like, the goat, but Aaron Rodgers is better. Yeah, I will still say that LeBron is the goat. But if someone came up to me and was like MJ's the goat, but LeBron's yeah, better, like, I, respect, I would be like, I, I would be like, that okay, that makes sense. Yeah, but people who say that MJ's the goat and he's better, I'm like, no. That, I get that. Tom Brady is the GOAT, but Patrick Mahomes is better. Aaron Rodgers is better. Peyton Manning is better. Lots of people are better than Tom Brady, but he is the GOAT. For like, sure. Like his football skill. Like his football they skill. Have more football and his skill. athleticism and all that is not there. But his knowledge and leadership and like the way he plays, obviously, dude wins. That's all that matters, right? So, yeah. Okay. So my LeBron, GOAT. This is going to be my final question, but it's kind of a three parter. Okay. So. I think I already know the answers to most of these. Okay. But I'm going to ask. It's This is Sawyer um, works in our church. His North Church, come visit. Yeah, North Church. Watch online, visit. You can meet JC Chapel, the man who we've talked about yeah. so much this episode. And there's no way that he will ever see this. There's no way. There's no way that he will I don't will know. He's, he, he randomly hops on Instagram every once in a while. I've noticed that. He posted a picture of him and Isabel. Yeah. He recently got engaged, getting married. Shout soon. out. Shout out, JC. Yes, that's the man right there. Anyways. You can come meet JC and all the other great people there. Sawyer will probably be there because he's there all the time. <laughs> but what I was saying is Sawyer has, he's, um, we've always been like Christians, but we both have like our faith, I'd say, has strengthened the past year or two. Yeah. And 
as well as Sawyer has become very knowledgeable in the Bible, at least to me. Uh, I'm sure he that. won't say that compared to other people. I don't know about that. But to, compared to me, he is. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to ask you three questions. What is your favorite book of the Bible, your favorite verse from the Bible, and then your favorite like Bible story? Okay. So your favorite book of the Bible. My favorite book of the Bible. I know this one. What is it? Is it Ruth? Yeah, it's Ruth. My favorite book of the Bible is Ruth. And every time I say that, people are like, what? Ruth? A lot of people haven't even heard of the book of the Ruth. Book of Ruth. It's like kind of close to the beginning of the Bible, close-ish to the beginning of the Bible. It's only four chapters. It's really short. It's like four chapters, so really only like five pages of, of the Bible. That's my favorite book because it's all about friendship. It teaches you about humility, loyalty. Hum um, I said humility. Humility, loyalty obedience all sorts of stuff like that it teaches you how to be a good friend ruth means friendship also ruth ruth is olivia's middle name mm -hmm. when i found out that was her middle name i was so excited because ruth was my favorite book of the bible and so yeah if you haven't read the book of ruth go read it it's, it's not like, very long so you can just yeah you can read it like in 20 minutes but. so next your favorite verse i think i know this one as well it's the one tattooed right there first thessalonians five sixteen, which says always be joyful always be joyful it's simple yep simple simple always be joyful and finally what's your favorite bible story so like you know what i mean by bible story yeah. like the ones you learn about in sunday school yeah stuff like that so like a story like that i yeah. think david and goliath yeah that's a good one well that's a good one. i guess i mean I, I wish i could say like the whole story of david because like him like being anointed king like being chosen as king when, but still having to like work in the fields to prepare himself and how how he was working in the fields as a shepherd and that how that prepared him to to take down goliath like that's crazy and i think there's like parallels yeah, from like David's the story, story of david and the story of him being a shepherd and the story of him being anointed king and the story of him defeating goliath i think there's crazy how there's parallels from all those different seasons of his life to different seasons of our life so i mean I, if i had to choose just one i'd say david and goliath it's okay. my favorite like bible like sunday school story yeah awesome yes, all right so that was all the questions i had um obviously it's a little hard to get guests right now because of <laughs> there's a snowstorm and there's a pandemic and there's a pandemic, pandemic. <laughs> So, Sawyer might be my guest again. I don't know, because I could definitely come up with this many more questions to ask him. We could talk for quite a while if we wanted to. I think I could get him to talk about shoes for three hours. Yeah, probably. Uh, we don't can know, do a shoe oh, episode. Yeah, just a whole shoe episode. Um, but let me know. Um, my guests for now, you know, I don't think I could get people, you know, like David Dobrik yet. Um, so David probably, Dobrik, come join us on so, Hello Talk. So, I'll probably just stick with Sawyer for now. Um... Maybe I can get Olivia on here. She can, she can, we can hear if she agrees with Sawyer um, about some stuff. <coughs> All my, I can get my homies on here, different people like that. Yeah, we need to get JC on here. I need bro. to get JC on here. <laughs> I would love to hear JC's answer to these, some of these questions. I yeah, I don't I'm, even, I'm thinking of some fun people. Think, I don't even know what I'd ask JC. I, I have a specific person of mine. Uh, I'll tell you later, but because uh, you know I don't want to call them out right now in case they don't want to. But pillow talk, Sawyer, what's What's one last thing you want to say to the people before we call it a night? Uh, I just want to say I love you guys. I love you, my brother. I'm glad I got to be the first. Is this, this is the first episode, this right? This is going to be the first episode. I'm glad I got to be on the first episode of Pillow Talk. I just want to remind you guys. Always be joyful. Choose joy. Peace. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, real quick. I need to get a picture.